What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about this particular tank. I call this thing the green machine for the past couple of weeks because yeah, algae bloom sucks. But I am going to take care of it and I will show you guys how. When I sell plants, I get lazy like I don't trim the stems. I actually pluck all the plants out including the roots and I sell those. Now the issue with that is in the substrate, there's tons of nutrients, the trident, probably algae spores, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Every time you pull the whole plant out, it's gonna disperse a whole lot of that into the water column, and this is basically what happened to me. Does it suck? Yeah, it does suck, but is there a solution for it? Pretty simple solution for it. Some solution takes a little bit of elbow grease and patience, such as water changes. I've already been doing water changes in this tank every other day for two weeks. And currently you can see it is still green. For me, it's not doing too good. I mean, will it eventually solve itself? I think so. My backup plan, which should have been my very first plan, a UV sterilizer. The cheapest one off of Amazon, see if it works. Here's what it looked like. I guess this is the holy grail for algae bloom. This was $34.99. Now, what do you actually get with this? This looks a little bit used. I mean, for $34.99, who's complaining, right? There's other types of UV sterilizer. Like if you're running a sump or some type of chamber outside of the tank, you can get an even cheaper UV sterilizer where it doesn't have this casing, which is basically just the UV light. And you put that into the water and let it flow through the light and it'll eventually kill all the spores. You can't just run a UV light in here. It'll kill a lot of things. So I got this submersible UV light. It's basically a pump that has a UV light in there. It sucks it in, the water goes through the UV light, then it pumps it back out. This also comes with accessories. It's basically a tube and some fitting. And what this does is it creates bubbles. So this also becomes a oxygenator, an aerator, oxygen pump, whatever you call it. Now the manual suggested four to eight hours a day for three to seven days. I'm gonna run this on a timer and see what's up. Is it better to run in a day or night? I don't know. I'm gonna run it with the light on. Basically, this is the tank now. From the side of the tank, you can see directly across, and it hasn't been like that for quite a while. You know what the funny thing is? During this whole time, I thought the plants were suffering. That doesn't seem to be the case at all. I'm very happy with this tank. Oh, and one more thing, we just hit 1,000 subs. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I have so much more content. I don't even know which one to do first, but I guess this video is first. And then we're gonna do this. My Rube Escape, so I got the video on that. And in the future, I wanna give back by doing some giveaways. As you can see, I have tons of plans if you guys want. You know, I'll take care of shipping and all that other stuff too. Absolutely free on me. 